Hey guys and good morning. It is November 20, 2020 at 11.11. Oh, make a wish guys. Look. You can see that. 11, 11. I'm listening to Christmas music. Um, anyway. Anyways, so it is November 20, 2020 at 11, 11 a.m. Um, I'm waiting for my call from SDMC. Um, they are going to call me to tell me to come in um, once they have the bed ready. My window is from 11 a.m. Oh, no. 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. I'm hoping that they do call because I don't want to be rescheduled if they don't have a bed. I'm assuming they have a bed because there's 48 beds at SDMC and I'm pretty sure 48 people are not giving birth right now. But yeah, so I am going to get induced today at 39 weeks because of my hypertension. Um, it's safer for me and the baby and I'd rather have it that way I guess instead of waiting like another week because as it gets, as the days get closer it's kind of like scary not scary but like scary you know what i mean but yeah um we have uh this bag packed let me see um i got the ipad our cords um my switch um and cameras some stuff nursing pads um, and my little band thing to track our heart rate and stuff. And then, um, a speaker and, um, a laptop. So that is what is in this backpack. The rest is in, um, the suitcase. So, yeah. I'm hoping they call early, um, at 12 versus from the time frame 12 to 4. So, see you guys at the hospital. It's time. We're having a baby. How you feeling, onion me? This is where Onion Meme is gonna sleep. In my bed. And then our TV. Where are you gonna put all your snacks? I'm all if we can make your suited up, um, got my your little During your time with also. Us, your care will be by um, I don't think she's going to come today. However, we're on early stages of labor. There's Eric. I'm already tired. But we're going to order food soon. So we can eat. We practice patient. Oh, 
phone number? Phone, I thought you were already calling. So I just got checked to see how dilated I am and I am at one centimeter still. So the plan is to do the balloon foley and then start the Pitocin at the same time so that way we can get labor started. Um, we also ordered food, um, cheesecake, chicken tortilla soup, roast gravy, turkey gravy, and a pepperoni pizza for me and Eric to share. So right now it is 7.10. So what do you hear that? She's moving. So yeah, that's where we are right now at 7.10, one centimeters waiting for food and about to get my, my little balloon foley. Our food. Ooh, yum. Gourmet. Just feed it from there. Okay. Begin, I give you. Here. Mm. How is it? It's good. For about so. Salt it up. <laughs> Here's a tortilla soup. <laughs> Time check. It is 9.20 and I just got my Foley balloon. Um, they did 80 inside, right? Yeah, total 80 cc's of water. Yeah, of water, saline, saline in my cervix and then a balloon on the outside. And hopefully in uh, 12 hours, before 12 hours it comes out or they'll just take it out. It so fall out. Hopefully it falls out. They're going to start my Pitocin and I am roughly at a centimeter and a half. So that's progress. I think I have to pee again. So how are you feeling? <laughs> Cramps? What yeah. else? Discomfort, pressure. How are you feeling emotionally? Nervous still. Excited. Mm. Want her to come out already. <laughs> oh, I think I man, I hate I hate the feeling of cramps. I should have braided my hair. I don't want to wash my face, but uh, that's okay. Well, lessons learned. Lessons learned. Okay. Oh, good morning. It's 6.20. Uh, definitely, definitely a uh, ride in regards to trying to sleep. <clears throat> Let me see. And yeah, I think Jen had a ride also with the Pitocin and everything getting onboarded. Um, hoping that the uh, water balloon, if I'm not mistaken, comes out. comes out. That's what it's called. I thought it was a water balloon, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, a, yeah it is a water, water balloon. balloon. Fully yeah, fully, but hopefully it comes out here soon. So, um, over to Jen. Let me see. Mm. How are you feeling? Right now, I'm okay. I was able to get some sleep. Um, the Pitocin was really bad. They lowered it down three times. L when, when you say bad, what do you mean bad? Like, like it went... From like period cramps, which is I can take, but then it got to the point where it's like period cramps where I would need to take an 800 ibuprofen. 
but it wouldn't go away. And they noticed that my, my contractions were really close to each other. So they lowered it. And they also gave me morphine to help, and that helped a lot. But even with the morphine, they were, I still couldn't feel it. But it was bearable. But it's like the same, but bearable. Mm. I don't know how to describe it. Any nausea? No nausea. Mm. Mm, a dry mouth, only because of me trying to breathe through the contraction, the contractions. Um, sleeping on my left side with a bunch of pillows helps alleviate pain. I was able to sleep, I think, for like two hours. Yeah, at three, three, three to five, I think. Cool. So, um, and I'm on a liquid diet now, so I can't eat. And hopefully at nine, or before nine, the Foley balloon comes out. If not, they're going to take it out. And we're going to assess from there. Cool. All right, guys. So, uh. 7.15, breakfast came in, just like hotel, sort of. Here, I'll show you what it is. Ta-da, French toast bacon and over easy egg with some juices, which Jen can't eat because she is on clear fluids, liquid diet. So yeah, already. Baby check, it is 9.27. It's 9.27 and they just took out the balloon. You keep talking louder as I keep talking. He swears. He has his headphones in, like he can't hear. Anyway, so it's almost 9.30, and they took out my balloon fully. Um, it wasn't as bad. A lot of pressure reveal, relieved, and um, they checked my cervix, and I am dilated 5 centimeters. Surprising since I'm at 5. Yay! Um, but they did say that my cervix is still pretty thick, so five centimeters dilated, but not as much effaced, I guess you can say. Um, so far, feeling good. Um, they're just going to increase the Pitocin um, every 30 minutes or so, or 15, or 30, something like that. Um, and yeah, just being hooked up. Um, and no pain much right now. I do feel contractions, um, but it's not as bad as it was last night. Um, so yeah, I'll probably get another dose of morphine once um, it starts getting to the point where I can't uh, really take it right now, like the pain. But the plan is still no epidural, so we'll see. Um, hopefully she comes today since I'm at five. And then Eric, there's Eric eating chips. Hello. You can't see him. <laughs> He's like a black man. Feel right now. <laughs> okay, I'm pain a little bit. It's two oh seven, and they just broke my water. I am five centimeters dilated and ninety percent effaced. So they broke my water. Um, I'm at the highest dose of pitocin, so they're not going to give me any more. 
And they said that I'm doing pretty fine with it. Like, they said it's, it's amazing that I'm doing what I'm doing, sitting up, texting, walking, getting out of bed. So, um, they said if it starts to get painful, because it will, then I can get morphine or um, an epidural, so we'll see. See how it goes. Hopefully she comes today. Bye bye. How are you feeling, Dad? Mm. Ah. Oh. Okay, I was taking my nap and woke up to the doctor say they're gonna break her water, manual, manually break her water. So that was definitely interesting. Oops. All right, so let's do this thing. Oh, you guys can see her. Yeah, she's been doing that for like the last 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, so standing by. So how are you feeling? Was... It's only been maybe less than two minutes since our last recording. I just had a contraction and it hurt and now it's gone. Oh, now it's gone. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Does that feel like it's in the middle? My finger? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, ah. This is the worst sharp in your back or just weird sharp so we just transferred rooms uh, I'm gonna show you the room and I'll show you Jen so this is our new setup there's Jen as you guys notice it's a lot bigger and we have the ep epidural on board. So, tell us about your epidural experience. experience. So, I decided to get the epidural because but it was just too much and the Pitocin dosage was too high. She even said that it was really high and my contractions were like basically non-stop. So, I decided to get the epidural and then they, so they, we were in one station and then they moved us to labor and delivery. So at labor, labor and delivery, they were doing the anesthesia or the epidural. And then at the same time when she poked me, I had a contraction and that hurt like a bitch. I cried. It hurt so much. I couldn't do it. And I kept going, but I have it now and I feel so much better. And then baby was dipping in heart rate also, so that was kind of scary. But she's good now. She's happy with me laying like this. So hopefully she'll be here in the next few hours, or at least today. I'm still at five centimeters. Baby heart rate. Tonight. 
So yeah. Uh yeah, as soon as I saw that needle I was like, Steve Carell me. <laughs> So it is zero two twenty. Oh two twenty or two AM. Um staff or medical staff is telling Jen to initiate the uh, pushing. So yeah, here you go. So how are you feeling? Nervous and excited. Hoping everything goes okay and well during the delivery. Uh, she has tech tech how do you say it? She's tachycardic. Tachycardic. And I have a it's a low fever. Low grade fever. Low grade fever and I have the shakes. But I feel like I always I get hot, so I don't know. But we're gonna start pushing. I'm gonna start pushing soon. Oh. Oh, we'll see you soon, Hanalei. Mommy loves you. So her heart rate is sitting about 180. Steady at 180, 179. 170, 170. Do you know what might help putting a wet rag on my belly? Hold on. So yes, you will be back. <laughs> 